I'm one of the co-founders of RAP uh, and the company's CTO. Right, so RAP is, uh, is a social gifting service that lets you very easily give your friends um, gift cards. Um, and I'll tell you more about the product a little bit later, but the company is, is relatively young. It was founded in May 2011. Uh, backed by uh, Swedish venture capital fund Creandum, who are our seed investor. And we launched in Sweden in November 2011, so we built most of the product over the summer last year. Uh, and then in January 2012, we announced our Series A funding uh, by Greylock and Atomico, and Reid Hoffman and Nicholas Sandstrom joined our board. Uh, since January, we've launched in six more markets, the US, the UK, Germany, Netherlands, Norway, and Finland, and we've opened offices in France, Italy, Poland, Turkey, Japan, Taiwan, Australia, and Brazil, really trying to turn this into a global business. Uh, we have about 310,000 users right now, and they have sent their Facebook friends over 2.25 million gift cards um, that can be redeemed in stores uh, operated by our 90 retail partners across the US and Europe. So a little bit about the market opportunity. There's about 6.8 billion people in the world um, and 4.8 billion of those have a, smart, have a mobile phone and only 4.2 billion have a toothbrush. So the mobile is, has spread extremely quickly to every corner of the world. There's 900 million Facebook users and gift cards is the big business worldwide. In the US, it's been the most requested gift for the last five years. The thing that really that people want is a gift card. It's a hundred billion dollar business in this country alone, and it's a four and a half billion pound business in the UK. Um, so it's a giant market, but there's been very little or no innovation. Um, and still over 90% of retail sales is offline, but almost all marketing innovation uh, the last 15 years or so has been targeted to online retail. Um, and offline marketing is difficult to measure and, and target, and it often involves a big investment risk. So that's, that's where we're trying to help. Recent online to offline solutions like Groupon and all the other daily deal sites, they're based on heavy discounting, which val devalues uh, the retailer's brand. Um, we want to provide something which actually increases the brand value for our retail partners. A little bit about our competition. It's um, so far mostly um, clones from zero innovation clone factories or existing gift card re um, resellers who try to kind of add on a wrap style model on top of their existing business. Uh, there are group gifting apps such as Karma, which was recently acquired by Facebook, um, which we think validates our model. Uh, but that's, that's the US only company and, and they're really more of an Amazon competitor than a wrap competitor. And then there's a bunch of uh, companies in the digital gift card space, but none of them are using gift cards uh, as a marketing platform the way we are. Um, so wrap is, is really more than a gift card reseller. It's a, it's a customer acquisition and retention platform based on friend to friend marketing. So this is, um, how RAP works. It's, it's an iPhone and Android and a web app. So you log in on your phone or on your computer, you connect to Facebook, uh, and we pull in all of your Facebook friends so that we can uh, remind you about their birthday or holidays or other events to celebrate. Or you can just you know, pick any friend you like and, and celebrate them for whatever reason. Uh, the twist here is that uh, when you pick a friend, you'll see a list of the available gift cards, and many of them will be free for you to give away. The, the values will be limited, maybe five, 10, $20, depending on the retailer and, and your friend and how they, who they want to target and attract. Um, so if you feel that's a little bit cheap, you can top up the gift card, or you can start a group gifting event and invite your friends so that you can, they can contribute to a bigger gift. But really, the vast majority um, of the gifts that are sent uh, through RAP are of the free sponsored kind. Uh, and that's is really how it's designed because that's how, how retailers use it as a marketing tool. So this uh, positions their brand when the um, recipient receives it from a friend in a very positive social context. It's a friend to pick their brand for you. It's not 
the brand advertising um, next to your Facebook feed or wherever, uh, trying to push your brand, their brand in your face. So, um, so this way we drive um, targeted sales traffic into the retailer stores where they spend on average four to six times the value of these free sponsored gift cards. And it's a zero cost uh, marketing tool to the retailer until the gift cards are ultimately redeemed at which point we share a flat fee for the free gift cards and a commission for pop-ups. Um, these are some of the brands we have. A little bit about our um, numbers. So we've been live for seven months roughly and we have about 45 employees, 310,000 users um, who can reach 31 million Facebook friends and give gifts to them. Um, 2.25 million gifts have been sent, out of which roughly a tenth have been redeemed so far. And we have um, about 90 retail partners worldwide, a number which is growing quickly. So we've been able to do this because RAP combines um, all of the gifting verticals. Uh, and we give consumers one gifting destination, so we want to be kind of the default destination when you think about giving someone a gift. Um, and we have a lot of liquidity in the platform because it's fueled by the free gift cards, so rep spreads virally that way. And we attract the largest retailers and brands in the world who have um, deliberately distant themselves from uh, the coupon trend, because what we do is, is like proper unrestricted gift cards. It's not a coupon, it's not a discount because that wouldn't be any fun to give away to a friend. Uh, but we do position the brands in a great context. So as a result, um, we're 25 times bigger than our closest competitor. A little bit about the future and outlook. We see it as very positive. Um, we believe that recent Facebook and Apple um, acquisitions and announcement validate what we're doing. Um, and there's a lot of synergy there. Uh, we have a strong pipeline of major retailers around the world, um, and we have a global rollout organization in place in 11 additional markets, including France, Italy, Turkey, Poland, Denmark, Australia, Japan, Taiwan, Brazil, Canada, and Ireland. And we have qualified joint venture interest in uh, the large non-Facebook markets, China and Russia. So in total, we have 20 markets that we're targeting, um, and we'll roll out wrap in over uh, the near future, and we'll, of course, be adding more markets to that rollout organization. However, U.S. will remain our primary focus for at least this year. Um, we believe 80% or so of our revenue is going to be here. We see it as a strategically very important market. And we're moving our U.S. headquarters from uh, New York to San Francisco over the summer in order to be closer to the ecosystem here. Uh, so kind of to, to summarize or uh, wrap up, we're targeting a, a huge global market, uh, and we're well on our way. We are leveraging two global mega trends, social networking and smartphones. And uh, what we're doing is actually uh, built on a real revenue generating business from the start. So we've been making money from almost day one. Thank you.